Guaranteed when I cut holes in the van, as usual, it rains. Welcome back guys. Today I will be doing the windows. So I've opted for motorhome style windows that open out rather than fixed bonded windows on this van. So the price is a bit more, in fact the price is a lot more than the fixed bonded windows. These work out about £169 each and they're a hell of a lot smaller but got the added bonus of them opening and they've got the fly screen and the blackout blind all in one so it's a lot simpler so on this one i wanted more ventilation more air coming in because in the summer it gets really hot so i'd like to be able to have more windows open hence why i had the fan as well to let more air in these windows they're 55 centimeters by 40 centimeters so this is the window Get the two locks and then on the inside on top of the frame you have your fly screen and your blackout blind so with these i will be having to go through some of the supports so i probably won't need to cut this one out because the window is going to be here on this panel so I shouldn't need to cut this one out, hopefully. I might just have to trim down the wooden frame a bit, just so I don't have to touch that one. The back ones, I've taken the support out, and what I'll do is I'll move it across and then secure that one there. So with these windows, a bit similar to the fan, I need to make a frame that goes onto the side around the hole that I cut um, also as well along the panels because I'm completely blacking out the panels with decal vinyl wrap I've got to do that first before I cut the windows and put the windows in because the last thing I want to do is put the windows in and then try and put a four meter wrap across the panels and then trying to cut around a window the wrap is bad enough anyway never mind being four meters long and trying to cut around a window so i'm going to put them on first get that done today let that set overnight and then tomorrow start cutting the holes for the windows and what i cut in a van this van and previous vans it always rains as soon as i put any hole in the van so i'll have black bags ready lock in the last van at work underneath a black bag Put in the window room so it's cold but dry and get these vinyl wraps put on first the vinyl wrap i'll add link below um i'll probably add another video to it as well um the vinyl wrap for this size of van should have cost me 90 pound to black out all of the all of the panels but i've decided to go down my own route and get my own vinyl wrap and cut it down to size I ordered one which was four meters by 152, which meant I could cut, if the panels are 67 centimeters, I think I paid 45 pound for the wrap, matte black. So now I'm about to measure where the window is gonna go on the panel. So what I've done here is I've measured off the bottom of the rail. I've measured up 10 centimetres and then I measured from there and done my top one so them two lines are level with the actual van and then to get the sides because a lot of the time these are not straight they can be on the angle coming in a bit so I took my bottom measurements at 15 centimetres used a set square to get that straight edge off this rail and then done the same again that side and there we go there's my first one i will measure it another three or four times just to make sure that it is fine i think i need to start betting on the day's weather 
as I keep saying, every time I cut a hole, it starts raining. There's my first hole. I've just gone outside to see where it is lined up on the van. And it's raining. In each of the corners, I've put a little drill hole to mark where the corners are. And then the four, I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger, just enough to get the jigsaw in. I only normally do one big one and just go all the way around. But at least with having four, you can just literally go up and down, it just makes it so much easier, rather than trying to curve round and stuff like that. When I'm cutting out any holes in the vans, I always try and keep some tape with me. So when you start cutting around the sides, once it's cut, put some tape over it, just so when you do that final cut, the, the panel don't just fall down and cut your van or damage anything. So I always have to try and make sure I tape it up as I go along, just to keep it from falling. I would recommend goggles and gloves. Before I do any kind of filing, rust treatment on the edge that I've just cut and cleaning the outside and the inside, I need to just double check that the windows fit. I haven't gone mad, I'm not putting the window on the inside. I just think if it was to drop, it's better to fall in the van rather than further down outside the van. It's nice. So now I can file, file around the edge, put the rust treatment on there, the hammerite rust treatment. While I'm waiting for that to dry and set, I will then make the frame. So that's all glued. I've got my clamps here ready for when I start. So while that's setting now on there, I will start marking and measuring the next window and then getting the frame ready, stuff like that. So you're not constantly waiting in between each one, try and utilize the time. So I've got that one done now. First stage is on the next window. Just makes it all a lot smoother, a lot quicker, and you've got everything going at one time. So the clamps are on now. As you can see, what I've done is I've cut some of the vinyl wrap back so I can get a secure fixing to the actual panel with the Seeker Flex. So let that set and then I'll put the window in. Now to start the next one. So with the side door, because I'm going through the, uh, the beam, what I've done is I put two pilot holes either side of the beam because I might have to cut on the outside of the panel to go through this, because obviously I'm not gonna get a smooth finish running the jigsaw across this side of the map. So I've put them in there. So if I can't get through it from this side, at least I can go on the outside, put a straight edge, nice straight line across them two, and then cut that out. This can all stay, it's fine. So with this now, I'm going to put the window on the outside, but because you've got a screw from the inside into the window, you'll need someone to push on the window. And I've got my trusty little help at. <laughs> so I'll get him to hold the window whilst I screw from the inside. Make sure I've got the right way around, the lock's at the bottom. Yeah. 
There we go, finished product. And what I'll do is I'll get some black silicone and go around the edge of that, the outside to keep it watertight. And the inside, go. And I've also checked as well where it ends, the side door can fully open and the side door comes to about here. So we can have this open and it won't get affected by the side door opening. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Let me lock on there as well so you can open it a little bit. I'm happy with that. I think I need to tighten them on there so they stay open. But for now, that is all solid on there. That is not coming off. All gravy. So there's the one. I've just cut out the second one now. So I'll get the rust protector on there whilst I'm building the next frame. That one shouldn't take too long either. Guaranteed when I cut holes in the van, as usual, it rains. So all the windows are in and done now. The frames, they were time consuming. We're happy with them. We like them because it's got the electrics and the phone holder on it as well. Uh, we've got that in the back, both of the back windows, uh, just so they're symmetrical. Uh, you don't need to do the frame because where the front connects onto the frame that are screwing to the window, you can add like an extension so you can actually have this flush on your outside wall. You can bring it out as far as you want. You just gotta have a bigger extension going around the window. We didn't really want that. So we do, we prefer to the idea of this where the windows are sunk, sunk into the wall instead. So these are not protruding out quite far because they are quite deep. So I didn't really want these, especially the dog as well. Um, and leaning back. I just wanted it set back so all the frames are done now as you can see the color scheme the electrics we've got all of that set in as well that's all straightforward to do simply screw the <laughs> bring the wires down drill a hole where you want the wires to come through and then just feed it through behind there i left enough gap within the insulation uh, to feed wire back through because the last thing you want to do is have loads of wire and you can't push it back through. So you've got the two USBs, the lights, little reading light, and then the phone holder, which are just, I think they were 20 pence off TMU. So quite a few decent things on TMU to be fair. So we've got that one. And then we've done the other side as well, symmetrical. And then for the side door, We've got that set up the same, just kept it thinner. And then for by the rear travel seats, just the same. What I did what I did with the frames was I made my first template. So this piece I had as a template because I used the old bits of wood that come off the panels. So I cut one to size and then I was able to replicate that for all four of them made it easier um, same with the box for the frame around the window I made sure I had a template where I could fit the the wood inside and screw it together and know that it's going to fit rather than screwing it all together and it's too tight or too big so just makes it a lot easier but yeah, that is the windows done. Time consuming frames. So if you're after frames, it's definitely worth it. It is simple and it gives a bit of a, more of a feature to the walls rather than having a plain wall with just this protruding out. So we're happy with it, looks good. And it didn't cost me nothing because with this, I used the old wood, the old, uh, plywood that was on the sides of the van 
so it hasn't cost me nothing and it just cost me my time so i hope that helps and if you want any more information on the windows on how i've done anything then please feel free to message me if you haven't already hit that follow button and give us a like um yeah any questions feel free to hit me up take care all